Hello, everyone. This is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the Powell family. The first is blazoned Sable, a chevron between three spears heads or imbrued gules. And this belonged to the Powell family of Castle Matic and Brecon, Wales, who descended from Llewellyn ap Einion Sace, brother of the renowned Daphid Gam, born in the year 1380, a Welsh warrior who died at the Battle of Agincourt, fighting for King Henry V of England against the French. One of his descendants was Hugh Howell Powell, Esquire of Castle Matic, born 1683, the son of Hugh and the grandson of William Powell, who was born in 1553. And here we see a picture of Castle Matic House and a picture of one of the family members, Charles Powell, who died in 1796, an oil painting of him. Next is Aura Chevron between three lion's gams erased gules. This belonged to the Powell Baronets of Pengethley, the Powell Baronetcy of Pengethley in the county of Hereford was created in the Baronetage of England in 1622 for Edward Powell, son of Edmund Powell and Catherine Young. Next is or two chevrons between three lion's gams erased gules. And this belonged to the family from Penn Kelly in Carmarthen, Wales. One member was Thomas Powell of Lanishan, who procured the Penn Kelly Manor around the year 1600. Or two chevronels between three lions gams erased gules in the center chief point a trifoil slip vert crest out of a ducal coronet or a demi griffin vert charge on the shoulder with the trifoil slip gold. And this was a coat of arms confirmed to Henry Claringbold Powell of Banlahan, Cork, Ireland, an esquire, a justice of the peace, and a colonel in the army. It was confirmed in 1874. He was the son of Edward Powell, esquire, a major in the army, and the family is traditionally thought to descend from the ancient Welsh family of Powell or at Powell of Penn Kelly. Next is Purpale Azure and Gules, Three Lion Cells Rampant Argent. Sir John Powell, born 1633, Judge of the King's Bench. This was the coat of arms granted to him. Here we see an oil painting of Sir John Powell. Next is Purpale Gules and Azure, Cruisily Fitchy or a lion rampant of the last. Crest, a lion passant resting the dexter paw on a broken tilting spear argent. This coat of arms was granted in 1584 to a Powell living in Bruton, Somerset. Next is Sable and Escutcheon between three roses argent. This was the coat of arms of Thomas Powell of Horsley in Denbyshire and Birkenhead, who was created the first baronet of Birkenhead in 1629. Next is the same coat of arms with a crest, a demi-savage holding a club proper. I assume this was someone related to the last individual. Next is Argent, a cross flooring railed sable between four Cornish chows proper, on a chief azure, a boar's head cooped Argent tusked or legued gules, crest, a Talbot's head cooped proper. This was the coat of arms of the family from Nantios in Cardigan, Wales, descended from Sir Thomas Powell, 
a learned judge who lived in the latter part of the 1600s. And lastly, we have Perfess Nebulae or Angules, a lion rampant between three escutcheons, each charged with the sparrow hawk close, all counterchanged. Crest, two arrows in saltile proper, thereon a sparrow hawk close argent, holding in the beak a sprig of oak slipped and fruit vert. And we know this coat of arms was that of George Powell, Esquire of Rockdale in Kent, England. If you enjoyed this video, please visit coadb.com and click on the link up top that says Genealogy Research. As you learned in this video, one surname can have tons of different coats of arms associated with it. So don't just pick any old coats of arm that has your surname on it. We piece together your family tree to determine which, if any, coat of arms belonged to your ancestors. Thank you.